No. None, none of the sparks as yet. Oh. Give her another little tickle. No, none of those. Well, this is a new place to start. We're going to start this video in the car because I'm heading over to work on the MGB. So let's get to the garage. What we've got here is the much talked about MGB V8. So it wasn't a V8 originally, it's a 1970 uh, chrome bumper car with a narrow slam panel and such things. Um, and over the course of Two years, two years, nearly two years. Uh, we've been doing a V8 conversion. Um, it's drips and drabs. It's between me and a friend. Um, and this car started out life as a 1.8 standard chrome bumper wild wheel MGB GT, which uh, we took to Scotland and did the North Coast 500 for some crazy reason. Um, yeah, when we got back, it was an oh, no, do we sell the car or keep it? Uh, we decided to keep the car and stick a three and a half litre V8 in it because why not? Um, so I'll just take you around uh, what we've got. It's a 1979 Rover SD1 three and a half litre V8. Altered up to a five speed, you can quite see it, LT77 gearbox under there um, and we have essentially completely rebuilt the suspension um, on a rubber bumper later subframe with drop springs to get back to the chrome bumper ride right. we have a brand new anti roll bar in there on poly bushes uh, rebuilt calipers braided lines all new brakes right we have a new V8 radiator. So, a couple of little things. Um, the engine mounts are different between the earlier car and the later car, so we had to put the later mounts in. The original slam panel, oil cooler tray as they call it, ran to about where the alternator is. So that all has to be cut out um, and has been replaced. So this is all completely new section. Um, we had quite a bit of bad corrosion and not so good repairs on the boxes um, on the trays and the footwells there so that's all been replaced replaced a large portion of this inner wing um, I've got photos somewhere so I'll add all those in above here uh, we've got the big cutouts for the exhaust to come through and then the reinforcer blades we made um, Exactly the same work this side. So, new box, flag panel, new section here, and the lower portion. Complete new section of the front of the sill here. Um, same again for the exhaust to come through. Um, completely rebuilt the heater box, pedal box. Uh, it's now servo assisted brakes. Running Edelbrock or Weber 500 CFM downdraft twin choke carb and a couple of little things so there's a modified Mocal takeoff plate there the remote filter housing and we've got a heavily modified steering column to enable us to maintain the narrow clock dashboard of the original 1970 car so there aren't many done with the V8 keeping this steering column this style steering wheel and this dashboard um, most people when they do this conversion end up going over to classical steering column which is something we really didn't want to do and we didn't want to lay the dashboard so we maintain that um, needs a good clean up in here and a reassembly uh, modified gear shift there uh, it's a one year only trim so 
had all new seat foams, but the, they need a good clean. So it's been sat in the overall all. So the interior's in the back. And uh, see, this is uh, quite bad. Um, it's a full Wabasto roof as well. Up to the back. So yeah, quite a bit of work. And we've just been having a chat. There's not a great deal left to do, really. Um, a few little tasks, but finding motivation in lockdown to get it done is uh, it's not, not all that easy. Uh, but we are going to do it, and hopefully you'll join us for the ride. So we've just made a plan of attack for the few parts we're going to buy um, to get it finished, exhaust to connect up to the uh, the rear section and different things, and. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, start working on this. So this will be on the channel as of right now. Uh, yeah, it was a very quick, quick, brief introduction. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.